Welcome to another episode of Security 101. This week, we're going to talk about Android. And first off, I want to say this is not a dig on Android. I actually have an Android phone. Um, and this is just not a dig on Android. But Android being open source uh, and very popular has become a big target for malware creators. And we want to talk about this week and some things that you can do to protect yourself uh, and some of it just being common sense as well. First of all, like I said, Android is number one in the smartphone software industry right now. It's growing leaps and bounds. You find Android in all kinds of things now. You can even find Android in TVs. You find them all over the place. So Android is becoming very, very popular. Because of that, like I said, it's been a big target for malware creators. And their thing about Android is Google created it to be open source. They want it to be open. That was intentional. And it's to get the community to build for the Android platform. The problem with it being open and so popular is it's very easy to write malware for. So one of the other problems with the Android is the Google Play Store is trying to follow that open community type of design as well. So they don't restrict the items that are in the Play Store very much. I mean, they do some little checks on it, but a recent uh, check by F-Secure back in the third quarter of 2012 found 55,000 of the apps, actually a little more than 55,000 of the apps in the Play Store were malicious. So you could be downloading an app from the Play Store and it be a, a piece of malware or malicious and you don't even know it. It disguises itself as a game or some other piece of some other app that's interesting to people. That's how they're distributing it in the Play Store. It just hides inside. It looks like it's running normally, but in the it's in the background it's stealing stuff from you and installing other things, just doing nasty things in general. Okay, there are a number of things you can do to help protect yourself with Android. First off, never install an app that didn't come from the Play Store. Yes, you can still get infected from the Play Store, but the Play Store does have some protection and some checking of the apps. Although it's not a curated necessarily like an Apple App Store where they actually tear your programs apart, see what they're doing, uh, and sometimes, most of a lot of times, deny your programs because it's doing something questionable. Android's taking the more open approach, or I should say Google's taking the more open approach. The, the Play Store as well, where they want people to create things. They're not going to curate it. They do some curation, like I said, but obviously they're 55,000 pieces of malware. They're not really checking them in great detail. But if you install an app that it's not from the Play Store, you're not going to get any curation, and it's hard to say what it's doing. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, don't root your device. A lot of people root devices to do more features. The problem is when you root your device, the protections that are built into Android, a lot of them don't work anymore. So you're basically putting yourself at a higher risk by rooting your device. And the third thing I definitely recommend is some kind of antivirus client on um, your Android phone. There are tons of them out there. All the big malware manufacturers uh, can make the same AV software, similar AV software that they make on Windows and, and Mac for Android as well. Now, I'm using one that's probably not well known in the PC world uh, called Lookout, and it's working great for me. I can't recommend necessarily Lookout. I don't recommend any software. I want you to go you look at what you have out there for yourself, but some kind of AV software, it doesn't take up much space on the device and it does a lot of great protection for you as well. Another thing about Android that's different than other phone OSs is the auto update of the operating system. Now, if you have like a Google Nexus phone, the auto updates for the platform are, come regularly from Google themselves, but phones that are like one AT&T or Verizon or something, or something like that that are not the Google phones, you typically get the updates from the carriers. Well, they're known to be very slow in putting out updates. So if you are on like an iPhone, you get updates automatically through iTunes and Apple as soon as they come out for all carriers, uh, it's all built in. But phones from AT&T, like from uh, the Galaxy X3, which is like X3, which is what I have, you just can't go out and download the update from like Samsung. Uh, you have to wait for Verizon or AT&T, whatever carrier is, to come out with the update for your phone for them. So that's something to be cautious of as, as well uh, and be, keep checking on updates because, they're, again, because of vulnerabilities, there are going to be new updates. Uh, it can come out as well, and they're going to come out with patches to fix things. So it's just not as automatic on an Android. So it's something to be aware of. Most people don't even realize or think of a, they get a phone. In the old days, they didn't do anything to the phone, and a lot of people are still doing that with Android. They get the phone. It still is working. No reason to do an update. But there are reasons to do updates on smartphones. So just something to keep in the back of your mind. All right, so I think I covered most of what I wanted to talk about this week on Security 101 about Android. Again, just to recap it, first of all, get some antivirus software. B 
be careful what you download because uh, there is there's a lot of it out there and don't root your device. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous episode about passwords, make sure you have a password on your phone as well. Uh, but one thing to also consider is if you are infected, you probably will not know it because it's very stealthy. And as it's on your phone, they're going to steal other information about you, your contacts as well in the background. So just be careful with it. Uh, it's more of an informational thing this week. Uh, no big risk or anything going on. All right, that's it for this week on Security 101. We'll see you next week. Thank you.